Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. Hope that you're well. Time to take a look at a new Armoff fragrance, one of those new Club de Nuit releases. This one is Club de Nuit Untold. Yeah, this is part of the four that they dropped on us. Club de Nuit Iconic, Club de Nuit Urban Man Elixir, Club de Nuit Untold, this one, and Club de Nuit Imperial. The plan is to talk about all of those. I've been working through them. This is the third one that I've done a video on. Been wearing it for the last few days. So let's jump into it and let's talk about Untold. So this one I bought from Fragrance by .ca. I'll link in the description to this fragrance and the other Club de Nuit fragrances that came out here recently as well, in case you want to check those out. So Club de Nuit Urban Man Elixir, that one is essentially a Dior Sauvage with like a, a faint hint of Aventus along the edges. Club de Nuit Iconic is kind of a blue de Chanel with a slight twist clone. I haven't talked about Club de Nuit Imperial yet, and obviously today we're going to talk about Untold. Also want to remind you guys that my fragrance, Blue Ridge, is in every Perfume Mania and every fragrance outlet store in America. So feel free to go into your local store, check out Blue Ridge. And also I have this one linked in the description along with Jet Black Enigma and also Terra Nova, my new fragrance releases that came out in November. And if you order those, use the code GENTSENSE to get 20% off. All right, let's check out the presentation of Untold. Here we got the box. You have the name of the fragrance, the size and concentration on the front there. Eau de Parfum, 105 mil size. Up on top, Armoff. On one side, you have a certificate of authenticity, a little sticker. On the other side, it says Club de Nuit. On the back, you have your ingredient information. And on the bottom, your badge code and barcode. This one expires 11 2027. Here we got the bottle, has this cool kind of pearlescent paint scheme going on. You have the name of the fragrance and house, size and concentration, all right there on the front. It says Club de Nuit on the side of the bottle. The cap has kind of a, a satin look to it, satin gold. On the bottom, you have a sticker and then your badge code printed on the bottom of the bottle and the cap clicks into place, you have Armoff on the top of the atomizer. And I gotta say, if you didn't tell me anything about this fragrance, like no note breakdown, nothing like that, you just showed me the bottle, then I would probably think it was actually a clone of this over here, a Mouage Imitation Man. I mean, you can't tell me in terms of color scheme, these aren't spot on. But no, it is not imitation. Obviously, you already know what this is a clone of, but before we go into that, let's go ahead and spray this out so you can check out the atomizer. There we go. Nice little atomizer on this one. Works pretty well. So Club de Nuit Untold, what is this a clone of? Well, it's a clone of none other than one of the most popular niche fragrances that has ever been released, Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kirkshawn. Now I know you may look at that and go, oh man, another BR 540 clone. There's a lot of those out and there are, but at the same time, it does make sense for Armoff to put out a Baccarat Rouge 540 clone, because frankly, if you're going to clone niche fragrances, probably would wanna get out clones of the big dogs, right? The most popular ones. And I know that uh, some people would have rather them stuck with like Creed clones with Club de Nuit, but to be fair, uh, Club de Nuit has never been just Creed clones. Yes, Club de Nuit, Intense Man, Siage, and Milestone, those three, are Creed clones, but the original Club de Nuit was a one million clone. And then Club de Nuit Urban Man was a Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum kind of clone. Eau de Toilette Eau de Parfum. Ugh. So the Club de Nuit line is, has been all over the place. You've had designers, you've had niche, you've had a lot of Creed. And obviously with this new bunch of fragrances, they're, they're going after some big, fragrances in general, just huge sellers, essentially. So it makes sense that they'd go after BR540. I say they're going after them, like it's a horror movie and Armoff is sneaking up behind the MFK or something. I'm going to clone you. No one will know that it's not actually you. I will impersonate you. I will take your life. Oh, they got dark. Yeah, let's get away from that. Uh, let's just talk about uh, this fragrance right here. Should you check it out? Is it any good? All that. Well, price-wise, as of this video, right around 50 bucks that's what i paid for it it was like 49 dollars and some change a us 
from fragranceby.ca. Obviously that's gonna change a little bit as time goes on. So that puts this as not one of the uh, super affordable Baccarat Rouge 540 clones, but also not one of the most expensive. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, trending a little bit more toward the higher end of the price point that you would typically find a BR540 clone for. And I have to tell you, out of the three that I have done uh, videos on so far for this new Club de Nuit line, this one is the most instantaneously apparent of what it's a clone of. Yes, Urban Man Elixir, you can tell, oh yeah, Sauvage, same thing with Iconic, but this one, as soon as it hits your skin, you know immediately, like, oh yeah, Baccarat Rouge 540. It's not one of those deals where you're like, well, I don't know, maybe it's kind of with the twist, nah. Nah, when this hit my skin, I was just like, yeah, that's Baccarat Rouge 540. Instantaneously, I knew. And what's funny about it is you smell untold. When it first hits your skin, like you go in for an immediate whiff, you don't let it settle. You get this kind of rubbing alcohol, right? It's your nose. And then you go, oh, well, is it that apparent in Baccarat Rouge 540, that rubbing alcohol kind of vibe? So I sprayed BR 540. Immediately, same thing, went in for a smell. Yeah, <laughs> that a rubbing alcohol kind of waft that you get, that's also in BR 540. So <laughs> this is like a clone that has even the rubbing alcohol tinge off the top down. So that's kind of interesting because you might smell that in Untold and be like, well, I don't really like that for 30 seconds. It's kind of, you know, a little ethanol-y. And then you smell the real thing and you go, oh, that also has that vibe. Never mind. So yeah, with uh, Untold, saffron, good amount of it. Solid dose of saffron in the top. Bit of jasmine. You have that amber woody kind of uh, backbone to it. What they call in BR540, precious woods. Same thing going on here. So that woodiness, that sweetness, it's in Untold, just like BR540. I would say if we're splitting hairs, that BR540 as it dries down, has a little bit more of that candy floss, cotton candy kind of sweetness, comes through a little bit more in BR540 than Untold. The floral aspect of BR540, a little bit more noticeable. And I would say that actually off my skin, that Untold leans into the saffron a little bit harder than Baccarat Rouge 540 does. But outside of that, these are darn close being pretty much the same. Now do keep in mind that Club de Nuit Untold functions in pretty much the exact same way as BR540. And so what I mean by that is that there may be times where you go in for a whiff of this, wherever you sprayed it, try to catch a, a little sniff, and it may come across as weak to you. It may come across like it's projecting, like it's barely there. And then you'll walk by somebody and they'll catch a big hit of it, or Alternatively, you may catch a big hit of it as you walk around during the day. You may think it's not really there and then you'll suddenly catch a big hit of it. You'll be like, oh, I thought that was gone. No, stuff lasts a long time off my skin in the testing over the last few days. So I sprayed it on about noon and then when I went to bed that evening, I could still catch little hits of it coming off my skin. I thought that it was pretty much gone but it wasn't. So in that way, it's very much like BR540. And if you're one of those people who just goes anosmic, nose blind to BR540 to the point that you can't really smell it and you think, oh, this, this stuff sucks. You know, I, I can't pick it up. Same thing's gonna happen to you with this. You're gonna go nose blind to it. You're gonna have those same issues. So keep that in mind. If you're one of those people that doesn't like BR540 because to you, it doesn't come across like as enough push or you go nose blind and you don't like that, you're probably gonna be in the same boat with this one. And sometimes I do wish that I could more consistently smell it because I do go kind of like halfway nose blind. Basically what I described before is what happens. I'll think that it's kind of just gone and then I'll catch a big hit of it and then it kind of disappears again. It's like hide and seek or something, fragrance hide and seek. But when I do catch whiffs of it, it smells awesome. And it smells so close to BR540. To be fair, BR540, huge release, absolutely nothing against this scent at all. I mean, I've got, my bottle almost empty. But if anything, I think that this is, as far as the big niche releases go, like the really big ones go, this could be the most consistently cloned in a very close way to this fragrance of like any big niche release. Because I've smelled BR540 clones that are like 15 bucks that get you way closer 
to be R540 than they should at that price point. Like the makeup of this scent is just made to be cloned. Now in terms of seasons, wearability, all that stuff, as usual with these clone fragrances, when would you wear BR540? that's when you would wear this. So I'd say just about year round, maybe summertime, it doesn't lend itself quite as much to that season as the others, but just about year round, daytime or nighttime use. And with it smelling like Baccarat Rouge 540, it's a unisex scent. Maybe some people would say that it leans a little bit feminine, but for me, I think it's fully unisex. And overall for me, I would say untold, if you don't take into consideration pricing or anything, would be the Baccarat Rouge 540 clone that I point you to if you just want one. But again, as of right now, as I've said with the other new Club de Nuit, this is about 50 bucks, and there are other ones out there that you can scoop for, you know, 15, like this one from Latafa Ana Abiyad Rouge. This one for way cheap, very, very good. But if you're just saying which one overall is better, I would say this one because yes, while uh, Untold does dry down to feature some of that woodiness, that fur resin and the amber woods and everything, uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 in the dry down does take on a little bit more of that woody scent profile, whereas Untold still leans on that saffron. So I guess uh, the better way to say it, because I had talked about this before, is that yes, BR540 is sweeter initially. As it dries down and the woodiness comes out in BR540 more, the sweetness that Untold had initially carries on for longer. So it's kind of like Untold has more of a consistent sweetness, whereas BR540 is sweeter, and then eventually that tapers off a little bit as it dries. So there we go, Club de Nuit Untold. Another good one so far, three for three with the new ones. Imperial, I haven't opened, haven't smelled yet. So we will see on that one. But Armoff making good strides here, much higher quality, as I said, as compared to their stuff from years ago. That carries over with the three that I've smelled so far of the new ones. So there we go, Armoff Club de Nuit Untold a great alternative to BR540. Thank you guys for hanging with me here today. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.